way things run in Belize, when we go there, the first day we, we fly in and we bring all of our supplies, we get them to the clinic, we open the clinic up and we set up all the chairs and the units. The next morning we start bright and early. The type of work we do in Belize, uh, basically we, we do fillings and extractions and preventive care, cleanings and sealants. Basically, even if you have no dental skills at all, this trip, you can always help out with things and it will always be fun. And while I was there, I did pretty much some of everything. Clinic was really fun to work in and see all the kids getting their teeth clean, like kids with decay in every single teeth, because just to know that they're being helped, um, it's just heartwarming. I was surprised just how fun working in the clinic was, because I was thinking that the work, I would get tired of it, but it was actually really fun to work and to knowing that you're helping people. It was challenging trying to figure out what I needed to do or what we needed to do to help kids get out of their stressful situation. There is one girl who was crying, 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 and the more bracelets we gave her, she kind of became happier, but it was pretty stressful to make sure that she knew that she was going to be okay. And the next day I saw her and she was happy as she could ever be, so that was really awesome. I got to help with arts and crafts and I have a background in education, so I love getting to work with the kids and make up lesson plans with my partner and uh, really do something different than I'm doing right now in my, in my professional life. So that was a great uh, break treat in and of itself. It's very much about relationship and because in Belize the, the language is English, it makes it easier for those of us who unfortunately don't speak a second language, uh, we can jump right in and really get to know people. Episcopalians like myself aren't sure about mission work. I, I mean, maybe, or maybe I should say for myself personally, I mean, I'd never been on a mission trip. I was a little intimidated by the idea. I mean, are we going and preaching to people or, or what is this really going to involve and certainly my own faith is a work in progress and and really how how do we I mean how do we position this and he said it's it's really about the work we go to do the work and be helpful and we will have Compline at night and we will do morning prayer um, but we're not there to to beat people over the head or we're only going to clean your teeth if if you know you sign on our dotted line and so um, I really enjoyed the balance of it, of um, feeling centered in the morning by doing the prayer and then Compline in the evenings and then their faith isn't just something that you work on in church or, you know, it was nice to, it was a very unifying um, experience for me. It's a, it's a major project. It gets pretty intense in January when we start collecting the, the toys from McDonald restaurants and uh, ordering the t-shirts and making sure everybody takes their right instruments and all that we have everything we need when we get down there so it's it's a project but uh, as Steve always says it may sound like a cliche but it is so exact we get a lot more back than than we give and when you walk into that school that first day and the kids run up to you and grab your legs and hug you and you know you're back where you belong and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing drift away and it's it's just a great group of people to be with so you're very nurtured by that spirit. So in that way it is a retreat because everyone shares a very clear common purpose of, of being a team and offering what we can to the school while we're there. You go down there thinking you're going to be a missionary to help someone but they help you and you bring back their joy, you bring back their happiness. They may not have a lot of material things, but they are very happy people. I saw God through each and every one of the kids. When they're expecting to have horrible conditions, and what I got instead was just something that moved me mentally and physically for the rest of my life. 